What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Precious Robot here. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize your stream avatars, ones that you've downloaded or ones that you've custom made to make them look shiny or holographic to kind of give them this cool effect that you can make for your subscribers. It's definitely a cool technique you can use to make your streams pop and maybe just be a little different from everyone else out there. All you really need to do this is Photoshop or any other type of photo editing software. Um, anything that uses layer and blend modes so like screen, color dodge, um, overlay, soft light. So if you have any type of those things in your photo editor, this should work just exactly the same. The first thing you want to do is find your sprite sheet. These sprite sheets are what Stream Avatars uses to display the avatar on your stream. If you've customized your own, you already have these and know where these are at. However, if you downloaded your own from the Steam Workshop, like the Pokemon Generation 1 or any of these other ones, um, I'll show you how to find those. The best way to find them is if you go here, you can click here and it'll open up this uh, streaming avatars data folder. Now just go into avatars and all of your downloaded uh, avatars will be listed here. And you can see these are all the different um, sprite sheets that you use. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to take one of these that were already made and we're going to edit it to make it look shiny or holographic. So for this one, I'm using Snorlax. So what I'll do is I'll find Snorlax on here, Snorlax. So if I were you, I would never edit this directly because this could mess up your existing Snorlax avatar that you have in there. So what I like to do is just copy it or on the desktop, just have a copy of it somewhere else. Once you found it, pull your sprite sheet up into Photoshop or your photo editor. As you can see here, I have the Snorlax all up and ready to go. And now that we have this up, we can edit it and make changes to it. So depending on how good you want this effect to look will depend on how much work you're willing to do to get there. Um, the easiest way is to just do it as it is. So the first thing we want to do is to get this to have that holographic shiny look. And to do this, we're going to use gradients. So you come over here. This is one that I've already made uh, previously. This is just a quick gradient, but to make these, it's actually not, it's not that hard, especially if you're in Photoshop. What you want to do is you want to come here to your gradients. And as you can see, there's already like a list of some gradients here. So at the very end, close to the end, you see one that says iridescent. Um, as you can see, these are already kind of pre-made gradients. The one I use is this one right here. So as you can see, it gives you kind of a cool little gradient there. But what we need is we need smaller variations of that. We need that a whole bunch of times. So to do that, what I've done, there might be an easier way of doing this. Um, but this is just what I found works for me. So what I'll do is I'll drag this over here, drag this over here, and then I'll just start repeating it. So um, what I'll do is I'll hit Alt and then click the screen one and then drag it over, click again. Then I'll do Alt, grab this pink one, drag it over, click again. Grab this purple one, drag it over, click again. And then you just repeat this all the way down. So. All right, so now that you have that, just hit OK. You'll come to the corner here, press Shift, and then drag it all the way down. And as you can see, it makes this nice diagonal line gradient of all the iridescent colors. It's important that you do this diagonally and not horizontally. Doing it horizontally will give you less variance between the avatars and not create the best effect for this. Now that we have that, we're gonna overlay it. So we'll take it. And we'll just drag this on over, put it right on top of there. So as you can see, I made it pretty small. Um, you don't want this super big. You'll want it pretty small because you'll want it in relation to these to be pretty small because you'll want the three separate colors to be kind of visible on all of these. And as you can see, this isn't quite big enough. So I'll just hit Alt and I'll just drag it down like so. It's not super important that these line up. Um, if you want to spend the time to get them to, you're more than welcome to. Um, come over here to layer two copy and then just hit control E and that will uh, merge these two together. So now that we have that on top of that, we'll just change our blend mode and then blend mode. Um, you can kind of play with these, see what works best for you. For me, I think either linear light works pretty good. Um, linear light, soft light, um, any of these work really good. I like linear light myself. So now what you want to do is you want to click down here to your layer one. And then you'll hit control and click on the picture. And what this does is this just selects all of your sprite. And then um, 
I go up here to inverse, which just inverses the selection. So you can go up here and then just delete it, get rid of the rest, escape. And as you can see, it overlays this nice iridescent looking color on top of your uh, Snorlax here. Um, you can play with this. Um, I like to change this a little bit, maybe not make it as obvious. Um, even at this point, if you want to kind of go through here and see what works best for you, hard light looks pretty good too. I might actually go with hard light on this one because I kind of like the way it looks a little better. Yeah, and that's pretty much all you need to do there. And as you can see, um, this creates like a color difference between these two so that when they're animating, it'll kind of give it like this moving holographic effect. We can go on and save this. Now, when you save this, make sure that you name it something else besides what it is. So for this one, I'll do um, Snorlax Shiny. And actually what I'll do is I'll do Shiny Snorlax. And then you'll want to save it as a .png, very important. Um, I have my avatars to my desktop so I can pull it up really easy here, but just put it back in that same folder where all your other avatars were. Boom, just save it right in there. So if you want to kind of get a better looking effect out of this, this doesn't work super well on every single one of them, especially like these ones where there's only one frame right here. These won't look super good. Um, I'll go on and show you what this one looks like for now. So um, avatars and gears. Um, as you can see, I have Snorlax up here already. It's probably pretty important to um, screenshot this or just have this up for reference when you put your other one in because you're going to have to change some of these to, to match it. So 50-50, um, 1.1 scale, um, cause you're going to have to remember that. So now what I'll do is I'll come here. Um, if you have it open, you might actually have to close it out and reopen it. Now we now it should show up shiny Snorlax. Yep, there it is, shiny Snorlax. And as you can see, it's just kind of this, um, this block. It's not really separated. So that's where this width and height will come in. As you remember, the other one was 50 by 50 with a 1.1 scale apply. Um, changing the frame size will delete all settings for animations that include item positioning. Yep, that's fine. Continue. Um, it didn't work for some reason. Once again, continue. There we go. And now, as you can see, you have um, Shiny Snorlax. Not too bad. So um, a lot of these are already preset in. So that's why I said it's good to check out your um, your previous ones. Snorlax. I'll just kind of see what these were. So one, one, three, one, one, two, one, one, two. Okay. So now we'll go back. Like I said, this one was one. I um, think this was one, um, one. So these these ones don't really matter. Um, I'll do one here. Um, custom sleep was one. I'll say one. And then I think attack was one. I'll say one there. So now that you have that, we can kind of check this out. So if we go to connect. Um, my still Pikachu. There's a Snorlax with a holographic on him. As you can see, it doesn't look super great because um, it's only doing one frame a second right now. You can actually kind of fix that if you just maybe change this to about three. I'll change all these to three and you can kind of get a, a better idea. These ones don't really matter because they're not going to change. There's no variation. I will show you how to kind of fix that um, a little bit later. But as you can see, it looks a little better. He's he's like moving a little faster now. But it's probably good to like change these. Like I said, the walk animation looks pretty good on this. Like this will this will work. This will definitely work. But if you want a a little bit better effect, I'll show you how you can do that as well. So to make this effect a little better looking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make more of these sprites. I'm not going to create more. I'm just going to kind of copy paste more um of them on here to kind of add to the effect that it looks more like it's uh, shiny so um, yeah so this is what i want to do the best thing i found to do is to kind of maybe create your own grid um that's like 50 by 50. i have several of these that i made like 50 by 50 30 by 30. i think i made a 60 by 60 one too i'm not 100 sure but what this is is pretty much i did um i used the ruler tool and made these each 50 by 50 blocks that way you can import 
your own um, avatar sprite sheets on here or even create your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, drag this over. As you can see, this fits pretty well on here. I didn't do that on purpose. It just seems like a lot of the ones that are pre-made are kind of like this. And just kind of line them up um, as best you can. You do want to try to get this as precise. I typically make sure the very bottom pixel is touching the bottom um, line or ruler. So, so typically what I'll do is I will fill this back part in with white. So the reason I do this is it makes it a lot easier to kind of move these and get these copied over without um, too much guesswork. So don't forget to merge these. Um, it's actually probably a good idea to duplicate the layer and just hide it because you won't need it, but um, just, just, to, just so you can have it. And then E, so now you have that. So now what I'll do is um, we'll just take this and I'll hit Alt. Or first I'll click that and I'll hit Alt and just drag those over. Make sure you line them up. By lining this up, it makes sure that these are exactly in the right space every single time. So as you can see, I'm just kind of doubling, kind of doubling these up. Do the same thing for this one. Um, that Alt. Um, you can also use V. I believe V is the move tool on this. Yep, so you can do that. down here. So these ones is pretty important to do because there's only one frame and you want multiple frames. So I'm actually going to do three on this one. So you can you can hit V to the move tool, move it over one more time. So I'm just hitting Alt and dragging these. That's why it's creating multiples instead of just moving it. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Grab it like so. Um, v, Alt, drag it over, drag it over to get three. So so like, as you can see, I'm pretty much just making multiples of these just to add more frames that it can reference to kind of give a better effect. Oh, so as you can see, I kind of screwed that one up. You don't want to do it like that. I'm gonna make sure that's perfect. Um, you might have some issues with these. It's a little wonky sometimes, as you can clearly see. Um, it's best to, Get it in the corner so that you can. There we go. So yeah, once it's in the corner, V Alt, just drag that bad boy over. So yeah, what this does, it just kind of keeps them in line and keeps them all in the same place. Same thing. We'll do the same thing for this one. That's pretty good. V Alt. Drag and sleep one. I think the sleep one's pretty good. We won't we don't necessarily need to mess with that one. So as you can see, I pretty much just created a bunch of these. The more frames you have, the better this effect looks. So it's always probably a good idea to do this, but as you see, not completely necessary. Because if you go here, um, I'll go on and show you. You see how that like you see how it looks, but if you drag them, see, kind of messes the effect up a little bit and, and you'll still kind of get this I'll show you how to get fix that as well too but you'll still kind of get this a little bit if you're um, doing it this way because some of these don't necessarily repeat but once you're at this point um, you can just like copy and paste these on top of that and just line them up to get them lined up but you don't necessarily have to do that you can probably just use your magic wand tool to select it all and get rid of it that way um, I don't think it really matters, honestly, as long as your tolerance is set to zero. So just if you do that with your magic wand, just make sure it's set to zero. It's very important. Now we're just going to do what we did with the other one with the sh uh, shiny gradient. So I'll grab this, drag it over here. Um, you can see, it doesn't exactly fit, but as long as these lines, like this line where it ends right here, aren't like over one of your sprites, uh, you should be good. I'll just drag this down here like this. Um, as long as this is covering, it doesn't really matter. Click here, uh, Control E will merge those two together. And then just change your blend mode. Uh, I think I did what? Vivid light last time? 
I'll do linear light this time. So linear light, change that a little bit, and then um, control click that will select those. Select inverse or uh, shift control I works for that as well. Um, don't forget to click back up here. Get rid of those. As you can see, pretty cool, pretty cool little effect that you got going on here. Now I'll show you the difference between the first one we did and then this one. Um, so let's go on and save as. And um, I'll actually save this one as um, Pixar as a PG. Um, I will save this one. I'll call it something different. I'll just say, uh, actually, no, I'll just call it the same thing. I'll overwrite it. No, I won't. I want to do that. So, so we'll just do shiny snow X one PNG. Um, put it in the folder, save it in the folder. Boom. Should be good to go there. So now you come over here to stream avatars, um, disconnect avatar and gears. Um, you might actually have to restart this. I forgot about that. So remember that 50 by 50, 1.1. Um, now I'll do shiny Snorlax 1. So kind of, the, as you can see, it's a little different there. So we'll change that to 50 by 50, and then 1.1. Apply. Continue. I don't know why. Do it like that time, but whatever, apply. Okay, now, as you can see, you have them all laid out right here. Um, nine's kind of high. I don't ever normally do nine. Since we have uh, four here, I think three three to four normally does, normally looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do three here, um, especially since we have three there already set up. Jump, we'll do three. Um, it's best if you can to try to keep these all the same number just because um, it could go either faster or slower depending on how many frames. But just always play with this. Something you can play with and just kind of see what works for you and it works good for you. So now that you have that, let's connect. Um, I think I will have to change it still because I think it's still, yeah, we still like that. So go here. Um, so as you can see, the effect looks a little better. Um, he's he's doing more even when you grab him. Um, as you can see, he does eventually kind of stop when you do that, but not too, too bad. Oh, that, and I'll show you how to fix that real quick too. So if you go in here to avatars and gear, change your collision box, pretty much just pull it all the way down, pull it all the way over, pull it all the way over, save and exit. So now, Grab them, flip them, do all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah, just pretty much change them how you want, play with them. Attack, spawn, zero. So now um, he should attack him. Yep, there we go. As you see, he's doing his animation. He looks like a cool little shiny holographic guy there. So yeah, there you have it. You have your shiny Snorlax and you can do this with any sprite that you find, um, any of your custom ones you want. So yeah, if you like this, um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow on Twitch. It really helps me out. If you like this kind of content, definitely let me know. If you want to see some more stream avatars, tutorials, definitely let me know. I'll probably be doing more of these, but yeah. All right. Thanks for watching guys.